I am not wrong, Teresa. I know what I saw. I saw my mother and Julian Crane together. Whitney, it's impossible, okay? Why would your mother be with someone like Julian? Oh my God. Mom. All I know is that I saw them together twice. It is not a mistake. My mother is just a whore. Look at her smile. She's daddy's little girl. Yes, you are, Maria. Daddy's little girl. Right? Right. <laughs> That hot tub look great. Yeah, looks like Charity's having a really good time. What's going on with you, Charity? You forget about me so soon? This is perfect, Tabitha. Charity's off skiing and snowboarding with the rest of the gang, and Miguel's not going to the mountains to join them. <laughs> well, you have yourself to thank for that, Kay. Using the video phone to show Miguel recent charity cavorting in the hot tub was inspired. Now Miguel truly believes that charity has moved on and forgotten all about him. Yes, but the inspiration was yours and little Endora's. I mean, putting that spell on Reese to make him look like a hunk. Oh, that's what started everything. <laughs> yes, I must admit, Endora is an amazing baby. <laughs> oh, could that be? I'll get it. Oh, Pilar, hi. Hi, Kay. I hope you don't mind, but I wanted to see my beautiful granddaughter. Oh, I don't mind at all. She's right in here with her daddy. Hey, Mama. Hi, mijo. Let me see her. She fell asleep. <laughs> oh, isn't this wonderful? <laughs> Maria gets to be with her daddy and her abuela. Yeah, I'm anxious to be with her, but... I am also here to help Miguel out. Help me out? Well, I know that you want to go skiing with your friends, so I am here to take care of Maria so you can go. What? No! How in the hell did you allow Luis to sneak into Sheridan's room in the psych ward? He's going in and out of there with complete freedom. Luis is in Sheridan's room? Yes, Dr. Ackland, as we speak. And I want you to do something about it right now. <sighs> I can't believe the risk we took making love in the high chair therapy pool. Was it worth it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad that you're here. Well, until I get you out of this place, I'm gonna sneak in here as often as I can, okay? Mm. Thank God. You're the only thing that's keeping me sane. Dr. Ann Eklund has banned you from seeing me. If he catches you in here, he'll well, have you arrested on, and you'll no get thrown off the force. No one's getting caught. You don't even know I'm here. to die, Gwen. Whew. I've got to tell Ethan what happened. I'll just have to make an appointment with Dr. Culver for another time. Oh, God, what does nurse know something about Beth? I just wish I could get her to open up. I know that Beth is hiding something. This is all your fault, Gwen. You got too nosy, too close to my secret. So now it's time for you to die.
join the party here? Sure. Hop on in, y'all. Yeah. Ooh, thank you. Woo! Charity, it's so great to see you finally having a good time. Guys, was I such a bummer before? You missed my gal. We understand. I can't stand to be away from my new and improved snuggle bear for five minutes. <laughs> Just since New Year's. I'm kind of surprised at the results I got myself. Oh. I'm starting to feel like the before picture here. Oh, are we making you feel bad? Here. Have a nacho. Uh, this will help my physique. <laughs> oh. I think you look great. Isn't this great? Oh, Miguel, I wish we could be together. Kate, I'm sorry. I don't want to upset you. I just thought that Miguel could use a break from working so many jobs and going to school. Laura, I don't mean to sound ungrateful, but Miguel and I really don't have the money for him to go skiing and snowboarding. Babies are expensive, you know, and we're still trying to pay for all of Maria's hospital bills. I know. I know money is tight. And that's why I'm going to pay for Miguel to go. No, Mama, I, I can't let you do that. Mijo, please, please let me give you the gift of some free time. But you have your own bills to worry about. I'd rather see my own son happy. The bills can wait till next week. I'll take Maria home with me tonight, and that way you can have a night off too, Kay. Well, that's very sweet of you, Pilar. Um, maybe Miguel and I could just go to a movie or something. Well... Actually, I, I think he could use some time to just get away. I'm sorry I don't have money for both of you to go. Mijo, go with Charity. Spend some time with her, okay? I, I can't thank you enough, Mama. Yeah, let me have this beautiful baby. Hi. Yes, the only are. problem is, uh, I don't really think Charity wants me there. Oh, why not? Well, I know for a fact that she's having a pretty good time without me. Miguel, she loves you, Mijo. Just go. Talk with her. You'll see. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks again, Mama. You're welcome, Mia. Bye, honey. I'll see you when I get back, all right, Kay? See you, Tabitha. Mm. Now, I think I have enough uh, formula and diapers at the house. So, all I need is my beautiful granddaughter. Thank you so much, Pilar. Okay. Good night, Tabitha. Good night, Pilar. Bye. I can't believe this. Ugh. To do something, Kay, you can't let Charity and Miguel back get back together. I know, but what am I gonna do? Ethan, you scared me half to death. Oh, my God. I thought we'd been caught. Sorry. I'm sorry. Luis, what is, what is with the orderly uniform? It's the only way that you could get in here. The doctor has forbidden him to see me. You're taking a big chance sneaking around here like this, I you know? I know, all right? I'm leaving now, but I don't want to make things harder on Sheridan than they already are. Hey, is Gwen with you? Oh, no. She, she is seeing Dr. Calder. Best doctor? Why? Yeah, she read that uh, Dr. Culver specializes in women who are having trouble getting pregnant and having difficult pregnancies. Are you and Gwen trying to get pregnant again? Yeah. Oh, that, that's wonderful. Yeah. I, I, I hope Gwen's able to get pregnant really soon. Yeah, I hope so, too. But, I mean, we're not going to get over little Sarah anytime soon, but we both believe it's time to move on. Oh. Sorry, I should have turned this off. Ethan? Ethan! Hey, it's me. I'm outside Dr. Culver's office. Gwen, I'm, uh, you're, you're breaking up. I can hardly hear you. Well, sweetie, I'm sorry. My battery must be low. Honey, look, I'm, uh, I'm in the hospital visiting Sheridan. I shouldn't even be on the cell phone, but let me call you back, okay? Because I, I want to hear what uh, Dr. Culver had to say. Ugh, well, unfortunately, I didn't get to see the doctor. So, I uh, have some free time. Honey, what? Say again? I said I didn't get to see Dr. Culver. There was an emergency, so uh, I'm on my way to my car. 
I'm sorry, but I didn't get the last part. What was that? Where are you? I am on my way to my car. Honey, look, I can't understand you. Uh, let me call you back, okay? Who is she talking to? Oh, my God. What if she's talking to Dr. Culver? I gotta stop her before he tells her that I was never pregnant. Come on. Oh, damn. The emergency brake's on. Where is it? Sweetie, I'm sorry. I just, I can't hear you. I'm gonna call you back, okay? What is wrong with your car? Honey, did you say something about a car? Yeah, there's just something wrong with this car down the street. What? Wait a second. That car. Who is that behind the wheel? Oh, she looks so familiar. I'll never let you take my baby away from me. Never! Oh, there it is. Oh, my God! <laughs> I did it! I killed you, Gwen. You're dead. You're dead, Gwen! You can't call your mother a whore, okay? It's, it's, it's not true. I wish it weren't true, Teresa. I mean, I would give anything to believe that I'm wrong. Look, there's no way there could be anything between Julie and your mother. Okay, whatever you saw, it was, it was a mistake. No, 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 all. there's no mistaking what I saw. Teresa, mija, hola. Mama. What are you doing with Maria? Is this something wrong? Oh, no. I just thought that Miguel and Kay needed a break, that's all. May I? Sure. Hi, <laughs> baby. Isn't she beautiful? Yes. <laughs> so Miguel went up to the mountains with Charity and the others, and, um, and your sister. Mm. I think Kay's just taking the night off. Well, that's wonderful. I mean, I get to spend time with my niece. <laughs> <laughs> you okay, Whitney? Oh, no, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. I, I, I guess it must have been a shock for you. A shock? Well, what do you mean? Well, when you found out about your mother and Julian Crane. Uh, uh, Mr. No, Mr. Crane, I, I can't believe Luis is in Sheridan's room. I, I gave orders expressly forbidding him from seeing her. A lot of good your orders did. Now, you listen to me. I'm paying you to take care of this problem. You keep Luis away from my daughter's room. Yes, yes, yes. I'll take care of this right away. Wait. There's something else I want you to do. Yes? There's a drug I want you to give my daughter. Uh, of course. Mr. Crane, I already have her on a schedule of medication to keep her sedated and calm. This is a different kind of drug. It's very strong and very powerful. It'll achieve the desired result. The desired results? May I ask what that is? Sheridan will be unable to communicate with Luis or anyone else. She'll be out of it for a very long time, probably forever. Gwen, are you? Well, no, we had a bad connection. She said something about a car, and then the line went dead. She'll probably call back. Yeah. Uh, oh. Right. I gotta go. I wish I could go with you. I don't want to be here. Well, I'm gonna get you out of here, okay? Promise? It's no luck talking Antonio into signing her out. <laughs> no. Nope. Keep saying he's her husband and she's here for her own good. But I'm fine. At least I would be if I were at home with my loved ones. My little baby. You will be. All right? Soon. Mm. Well, I'm gonna get you out of here. We're gonna be together. We're gonna spend the rest of our lives together. We're gonna start our lives all over again, okay? I can't wait. Just you and me and little baby Martin. I love you. I love you.
you too. Mm. I better get going too. I'll see you soon, okay? All right. Give Gwen my love. I will. You take care. still so convinced that Beth's baby is hers. I know, All right? That's the excuse that Antonio is using to keep her locked up here. We both know it's impossible, though, right? Of course it is. All right, Sheridan is just grieving over the loss of our baby. All right, no longer she keeps telling herself that Beth's baby is hers, she doesn't have to accept that our baby died. Yeah, Gwen briefly went through the same thing when Sarah died. Yeah, uh, why actually is Gwen going to see Dr. Culver? I, I told you. Right. But I think it's about more than her just getting pregnant. It's about Beth, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's about Beth. You know that she's always been suspicious of Beth, so she wants to talk to Dr. Culver about her. Yeah, well, what in the world does she think Dr. Culver's gonna tell her? I don't know. But it's positive she's gonna... Find out something. Beth? What have you done? I did what I told you I was gonna do, Mother. I killed Gwen. <gasps> no. Yeah. Gwen is dead. She's never gonna expose my secrets. And she's never going to take my baby away from me. Ever. What happened out here? I heard a car. Oh, my God. Quick, call an ambulance. It's Gwen Winthrop. She's still alive. Whoever hit her didn't even stop. Miguel away from charity. I know we do, but how he's already gone. I don't know. Okay, you're the witch. Use your powers to stop him. Use my powers? But you know my powers are very limited. I already used what was left of them to turn Reese into a stud muffin so he could turn charity's head. Well, you can try, can't you? Cast a spell. Okay, make a bridge collapse. Cause his car to break down. I don't know. Do something. I'm sorry, Kay. I wish I could. You know, I have as much at stake in this, in keeping them apart, as you do. But if Charity and Miguel make love, she'll come into her full powers of goodness, and then she'll destroy me and Endora as well. Well, my baby could die too, okay? Charity made a deal with Death that to give up Miguel, Death would spare Maria. If she goes back on her word, my baby could die. I'm sorry, Kay. My powers are so low these days. Well, can we at least keep tabs on Miguel, watch him in that magic bowl of water? I suppose. It's in the kitchen. Well, well let's bring it in here. Okay, I've got to find out what's going on with Charity and Miguel. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> change so are you okay yeah have some more hot cider oh no i'm fine thank you i'll come back in later mm. oh poor charity she's really missing my girl 
Maybe it wasn't such a good idea for her to see us having such a good time. It probably made her miss Miguel even more. Well, all we can do is try to make her feel better when she comes back down. Yeah. Now, if there's a band playing in the lodge tonight, maybe we can talk her into going. We can take her dancing. Well, I, for one, am turning into a prune, so I'm going up to change. Mm. Me too. <laughs> Me three. Oh, Reese, you coming? I need to make a quick call. All right, we'll meet you back here. Yeah, I'll meet you back here. I was just about to call. About you and Charity. Gwen's dead, Gwen's dead. Can't mess with my head. You honestly think that you are gonna get away with this? Of course I'm gonna get away with it. No, you won't! You can't run over and kill somebody in a public street and not think that someone wasn't there to take down a license or to see the car. You know what? I just bet you Luis is on his way over here right now to arrest you! Hmm, I don't think so, Mother. I stole the car. You stole the car? <laughs> yeah. <gasps> and I also wore a disguise and gloves so they can't trace my fingerprints. I don't watch Law & Order for nothing, don't you know? Oh, did you hear that, Precious? She committed cold, calculated murder! And she stole a car! And she's proud of it! You bet I'm proud of it. Now Gwen can't expose my secrets? She can't take my baby away from me? Oh, it's Sheridan's baby, it's Sheridan's baby! Now no one will stop me from being with Luis. I'm a happy girl. Listen, I still don't get it. Why do you think that Gwen was suspicious of Beth? I don't know. Oh, remember when, remember when Beth first said that she was pregnant with your child? Gwen didn't believe her. She thought she was faking it. Well, Beth was pregnant. Like I was there with her right after she gave birth, so there's no way that's possible. Unless... What? Well, Gwen and Sheridan are very close. So maybe Gwen is starting to believe what Sheridan thinks about Beth's baby being hers. I don't know. No, it makes no sense. Well, there's no way that's possible. Yeah, I agree with you. But she's still suspicious of her. She says she wants to find the truth. Truth. Mr. Winthrop? Yeah. I'm, oh my God, I'm so sorry. What about, what, sorry about what? You mean you don't know? Now what? I just heard Gwen was hit by a car. She's on her way to the ER right now. Oh, my God. What, what is it? How bad is it? I'm so sorry. You'll have to talk to a doctor. All right, Mama, what do you mean? Yeah, what about my mother and um, Julian Crane? He donated a new wing at the hospital in your mother's name. What? A wing? Yes. He spent millions of dollars and insisted that it be named after your mother. I am so sorry. I thought you knew. No. No, it's fine. I, I just hadn't heard. Well, why did he do that, Mama? Well, the Cranes have always made donations to the hospital, and I, I assume they finally have realized the tremendous contribution that Dr. Eve has made to the hospital. Yeah. Well, that's, that's really nice. <laughs> Let me have the baby. I want to see if she needs to be changed. See if she needs a bottle. <laughs> okay. All right. Come with Grandma. Come on. Let's see. Now it makes sense. What makes sense? What you saw between your mom and Julian. She was just excited about this huge new wing, and she gave him a hug and a kiss. That's no, all. No, you can't possibly believe that that's all. Oh, no, no. It, of course it is. And you know what? Julie would never make a move on your mother, okay? He knows how much your dad hates him, and he would use any excuse he could to kill him. Oh. I wonder how Lily 
Ethan is doing. Hey, look, look, there he is. <laughs> he looks happy enough, doesn't he? I mean, I couldn't bear it if he wasn't happy, you know? No, he looks fine. Thank God Fox hooked up his video camera so I can at least look at him, you know, since I can't see him. Whitney, I really don't think you should worry about your mother and Julian. Yeah, well, I, I certainly hope that you're right about that. Um, you know, I, you, so, I think he's a horrible man. You know that, right? Yeah. But, well, I guess I'm gonna have to learn how to be nice to him. Why? Oh, oh you mean because little Ethan is with him right now? No. No, because, um, he's going to be my father-in-law one of these days. Julian's going to be your father-in-law? What are you talking about? Ah, Miss Andrews, good. Do you think you could go down to the pharmacy and get 100 cc's of this drug for me? Good Lord, doctor. Who would need such a powerful, such a dangerous drug? I mean, this drug could cause terrible anxiety. More pain and sorrow than any human being could be expected to endure. Nurse Andrews, I did not ask you for your expert opinion. What I did ask you was to go down to the pharmacy and get me 100 cc's of this drug, please. Right away, doctor. Thank you. God help you, Sharon and Crane. Father against you, you don't stand a chance in hell. Excuse me, my wife, Gwen Winthrop, she was hit by a car or something? Yes, she's in Bay 3, but you can't go in was there. Was she all right? You'll have to talk to the doctor. Just tell me how she is. Can you tell us who hit her? I'm sorry, just wait here. A doctor will be out to talk to you as soon as he no, can. No, the hell with that. Gwen! Ethan. Honey, honey, are you okay? Doctor, she all right? Well, she's a very lucky young woman. Pretty bad cut to the head, but no broken bones. She should be up and about in no time at all. Well, thank God you're all right. Yeah. Now, take these antibiotics to prevent any infection. I'll check back in on you later. Thank you, Doctor. What, is there anything I can do for you? Yeah, um, you can arrest Beth Wallace for attempted murder. Yeah, what are you talking about? What about me and Charity? Simone sent me a picture on that new phone that Kay gave me. All right, of you and Charity in the hot tub together. And I want to know what's up with that. Well, nothing's up with that. There's nothing going on between me and Charity. Is that what you thought? Yeah, okay, yeah, that's what I thought. Miguel, you're my best friend. There's no way I would put the moves on your girl. Reese, you're still not just... Miguel, when did you get here? This is great. Charity's going to be stoked to see you. Uh, what's up? You look upset. Miguel thought I was making moves Reese. on Charity. <laughs> no way. Miguel, uh, how could you think that? Charity only has eyes for you. Besides, my heart belongs to my cuddle bear. <laughs> your heart, your pecs, your six-pack abs. Oh, <laughs> Sorry, Reese. I know you'd never do anything like that. It's been kind of crazy lately. Hey, we, we understand. Well, what are you doing here? I came to be with a woman that I love, Charity. You. I don't see anything. What's taking so long? Be patient, Kay. The water has to warm up. Them. How am I ever going to keep those two apart? <sighs> Gwen, what are you talking about? When you're serious, you want me to arrest Beth for attempted murder? Yes. Did, did you see Beth behind the wheel? Yes, Ethan, I did. 
She tried to kill me. All right, Gwen, this is a very serious charge, okay? You're sure that it was Beth? Yeah, it looked just like her. And who else could it have been? I mean, she knows I'm suspicious of her. Okay, um, if you've had a head injury, I don't think you're thinking Ethan, clearly. I'm thinking very clearly. Right, Gwen, why would Beth try and kill you? I went to Dr. Culver's office to ask some questions to see if I could find out anything about Beth. And I think maybe she found out and she got scared, but she tried to kill me, Luis. You have to arrest her. Honey, honey, he, he can't just arrest Beth uh, because you think she's up to something. I mean, up to what? I think that Beth kidnapped Sheridan and then stole her baby. That is why Sheridan thinks that little Martin is hers, and that is why Beth wanted me dead. She knows uh, that I know that she's up to something. All right, Gwen, just calm down, okay? All right, now, I'm gonna go talk to Beth, okay? I'm gonna find out exactly where she was. Louise, I know where she was, okay? She was behind the wheel of that car, and she tried to kill me. Some music. I feel like dancing. Oh, okay. Woo! Oh, yeah. <laughs> we interrupt this program for some breaking news. Gwen Winthrop, one of Harmony's more prominent socialites, was run down by a hit and run driver today. <laughs> Do you hear that? And that's not all. I killed her. Oh. Dead as a doornail. This is Winthrop, wife of yeah. prominent attorney Ethan Winthrop, survived with only a slight head injury. She's being treated at Harmony Hospital. Police are in search of the hit-and-run vehicle and the driver. <laughs> Do you hear that, precious? Gwen is alive! Hallelujah! Only a slight head injury. Thank you, angels! Thank you for saving Gwen's life! <laughs> oh, damn it! She's now hearing voices. Oh, Betty. Betty, you are the one that needs to be locked up. Oh, but they're gonna be hauling you off in a straitjacket soon enough after this botched hit and run. Oh, Betty. Betty. It's all over for you. It's all over for you. Mr. Charity, I love you so much. Thank you. No! Isn't there something you can do? No, dear. As I've told you, my powers are spent. I've lost him. This is it. I've lost Miguel forever. Okay, so who are you gonna marry now, Teresa? If you do marry Ethan, finally marry Ethan, he's not a crane anymore. So Sam Bennett would be your father-in-law, not Julian. You're right, but um, I finally got over Ethan the second that I realized uh, he wasn't gonna help me keep custody of my son. You know he abandoned me. Right, okay, yeah, you're finally over Ethan, that's great, but that still doesn't explain how Julian is gonna be your father-in-law. Well, Ethan is no longer a crane, but, um, his half-brother, Foxes. Oh. Yeah. I'm gonna marry Fox. Wow. Honey, you really think Beth kidnapped Sheridan and stole little Martin? Ethan, it may sound crazy, but why else would Beth want to kill me? Honey, you can't accuse Beth when you said yourself you weren't sure you saw who was I driving saw the car. I saw the car coming straight for me, and I looked at the driver before it hit me, and it looked like Beth. I think you need rest. I'm not going to rest until I find out all of Beth's secrets, Ethan. 
Okay, because Sheridan's future might depend on it. In fact, I know her future depends on it. Well, there's only one thing left to do. I gotta get to the hospital, ER, and get Gwen. I gotta shut her up once and for all. I could smother her with a pillow. Oh, well, yeah. Just forget about it, Bethy. The pieces are all falling together, even as you rave. They're gonna figure out that little Martin is Sheridan's. You see? They're gonna do a DNA test, and everybody is gonna know. No, you just shut up, okay? Just shut up, oh. all right? Oh, see? See? Here's the cops now. Shut up. <laughs> just get rid of whoever it is. You better get ready for those, those handcuffs missing. <laughs> Miss Walsh. Louise! Hey, Annie, what are you doing here? It's Beth here. I need to speak to her right now. It's about Gwen Winthrop. Oh my God. Mother's right. I'm gonna go to jail. Hello, Sheridan. How are you feeling? Fine. What are you doing here? I didn't think I was supposed to see you till later. I just have one question I need you to answer. Who came to see you today? No one. What do you want? What I want is for you to tell me the truth. Now, you've broken the rules, and I'm afraid you're going to have to be taught a lesson. Gentlemen? No. No. Oh, God. No! Please, please don't do this to me! No! Louise, help! Louise can't help you now, Sheridan. No one can. You're gonna spend the rest of your life in that psych ward. No matter what I have to do. Do it just to me? Please. Question you. What? Gwen Winthrop was hit by a car earlier today. Oh, finally, finally, I'm gonna find out what Beth's been up to. Poor sweet Journey. She'll never know what hit her. This Sunday on NBC, it's the party of the year, the Golden Globe Awards. With nominees Tom Cruise, Russell Crowe, Nicole Kidman, Billy Bob Thornton, Johnny Depp, Renee Zellweger, Bill Murray, Uma Thurman, Jack Black, Eric McCormick, Al Pacino, and Jack Nicholson. Plus Michael, Kim, Jude, Sarah, Jim, Mark, Danny, Jeff, Alice, William, Tom, Justin, Justin, Jennifer. I barely just got here. The Golden Globe Awards, live Sunday, 76 Central, only on NBC.